you know, that's not being presented here at the World Lung Conference in 2023, but the uh, the paper recently published in JAMA Oncology, um, by which we developed multidisciplinary consensus guidelines for thymic carcinoma. Um, that was a project uh, done as, as part of the American Radium Society um, Thoracic Appropriate Use Criteria Committee. And what that committee does is we look at certain clinical conditions, be it um, lung cancer or thymic cancer or you know any number of cancers. Our, our committee looks specifically at cancers of the chest. You know, there are other committees that look at things like the brain, the gastrointestinal tract, et cetera. But uh, given that thymic carcinoma is a very rare cancer in the United States, we only see about 100 cases in total per year. Our purpose in that um, publication was to develop consensus guidelines for management, uh, given given the controversy posed by something there will never be prospective randomized trials for. And so what we used was a modified Delphi methodology by which we um, have a multidisciplinary expert panel review consensus guidelines and the appropriateness of certain procedures um, for the treatment of thymic carcinoma. In that study, um, a few of the important recommendations was that you know, almost regardless of stage, uh, patients undergoing surgical resection probably warrant post-operative radiotherapy afterwards just due to the difficulty in obtaining a negative margin for an infiltrative cancer like thymic carcinoma. Uh, the panel also determined that minimally invasive thymectomies are probably not appropriate if one is suspecting a thymic carcinoma, again, due to their propensity to to infiltrate the tissues in the chest and the need to visualize the entire, entire mediastinum. Um, the panel also developed guidelines for unresectable thymic carcinomas. For example, um, a thymic carcinoma with involvement of the phrenic nerve, where removal of the tumor would either require leaving a gross uh, margin behind or sacrificing the nerve. And in cases like that, the panel had recommendations for concurrent chemo radiation and upper limits of dose uh, of radiation. Uh, lastly, one of the important aspects of the consensus recommendations were that because of the location of the thymus in the chest anteriorly here, that and uh, that advanced radiation technologies like intensity modulated radiotherapy or proton therapy uh, are recommended. And this is because when using more, um, how should we say, primitive radiation technologies, uh, 3D radiotherapy, certainly two-dimensional radiotherapy, that results in unnecessary radiation deposition straight through the body into the heart, uh, into the lungs, into the esophagus. And so for thymic carcinoma, particularly where you often need escalated doses to address a microscopically positive or grossly positive margins or gross tumor, the panel um, had consensus that one should use advanced radiation technologies in that setting.